Okay, so what we're going to be checking out today is we're going to be checking out loads of our waves that we know in action. Okay, so let's like just think about something like the guitar. It's actually quite quite a few different things are going on here. So my strings themselves are going up and down like this. Yeah, they're moving at right angles to the direction of travel. So what I've actually got going on the strings. What's going on there is a transverse wave. Now, this is an electric guitar. A few things going on. Transverse wave on the strings. Yeah. Then, that's letting off a sound. So that's longitudinal waves. Right? Those longitudinal waves are getting, um, you know, uh, heard by these electronic pickups here. It goes back to an electrical signal. So it becomes a transverse wave again. Right? Then it's coming out of my amplifier down here. So that goes back to a longitudinal wave again. Yeah? So transverse wave on the string. Yeah? Transverse wave on the string makes a longitudinal sound. Transverse wave as a signal makes a longitudinal sound. Now that can be going on with this guitar that I've got here, or that can be going on with a bunch of other instruments, right? So you know, we could get a we could get a bass guitar. Ooh, let's see how I'm doing with this one. Okay, so we could get ourselves a bass guitar. And again, same sort of thing. On the string. Let's crank that up. Uh whoa. So on that string, transverse wave moving. Long tune the waves again for the sound. Yeah. So again, with this one, a much lower frequency. There's, the waves are moving a lot. Again, less waves per second, a lower frequency. Yeah, so. So you end up with a much deeper sound. Yeah. So it's some more wave stuff, okay? Um, go violin here, okay? Ooh. Ooh, that string's pretty out of tune. Okay, but same sort of thing again. Transverse wave with the actual vibration happening on the string. Then as it's going into, you know, the, the volume box and it's coming back out, we're getting longitudinal waves. Because remember, longitudinal waves are sound waves, the ones that we hear. Uh, let's look at more stuff. This here, the light, boom, yeah? So that light that's coming out of there, that would be a transverse wave. Um, this thing, which I took from my friend, and you can play games on it and stuff, this thing's using Bluetooth, an electromagnetic wave, another type of wave. We can go back to the slinky model, yeah? Woohoo, here's my slinky dog, up and down, transverse wave. Yeah, there's his little head, woohoo. Or we can push him backwards and forwards and make longitudinal waves, just like we're talking. Now, what I want us to do today is I want us to have a go around our house and I want us to, um, to uh, make videos, take photos of as many different things that involve waves, yeah? I want you to tell me whether they're transverse waves, longitudinal waves, as much information as you can. So this is like a mini short little project we're gonna do where you're gonna be running around your house just like I did to find a bunch of stuff that give us, you know, type waves, longitudinal waves or transverse waves. You need to be able to pick out which they are. That's really, really important, okay? And so there'll be more instructions up on how you can present that for me. Sound good? Of course it does. All right.